Good morning, everyone. It's July 15th, and starting off to be a beautiful day. It is rather humid out, and the mosquitoes are terrible outside, but I'm grateful for all the good rain I've been getting. I'm still below average for this time of year, a couple of inches, but got better than an inch yesterday. I didn't look real close as I was walking by, but I can tell it's over an inch. I thought I'd cover a little about the kratom, kratom and the rooting and everything and just experiments I've been doing and all. I've had really good luck this year, or to me it's good luck. I don't know what percentage rate I'm at, 65, 75, or 85 percent, something like that, but a lot better than I did last year at, at one out of every dozen or something, or might have probably was even less than that, but... Uh, Anyway, I went through all these yesterday, and this was, these were in three different containers, and uh, they don't have roots yet, and they're different ages and what have you, but these were the ones that I did get out of the container, and they do have some root on them, and They'll stay in here now for a couple of weeks and develop better root. And I'm very pleased with them. And I do have some failures and all, and then I reuse the block. I've been reusing them. So the only thing I've really done so far, I've rooted some hibiscus. And uh, this is one spearmint and one's peppermint. And I can and I usually just root them in a jar of water. But uh, I had the old grow blocks, and I haven't reused the grow blocks with the kratom. And then this container was another experiment that I'm doing. And in the bottom here, there's the soil moist, the gel around the grow blocks, and I'm trying it. I had tried setting some, and I'll show them they're outside, uh, on the perlite from the get-go. And I don't like that too well because I can't see whenever it does develop roots. With these on the setting on the clear plastic, I can see the root whenever it starts, and then I know to work with them. Um, I've been getting these old clear toques, sweater boxes, whatever you want to call them, but you could do the same thing with just an old mayonnaise jar or whatever and just set it in the set the grow block in the lid and put the the jar over it and uh, when i first got the refat from hector last year i did two ice cream pails that way until i could get it a better container and it stayed in it for about a week before i got my sweater boxes to put it in um, this is still just using the Azos and the, and the rock wool grow blocks. And this was some cuttings, some more of the hibiscus, and they're all rooted, and I got to get them done something with. I have another one that I was going to send to my granddaughter up in North Georgia. These are the ones that, uh, a lot of these are well-rooted, which these here are. And this is the one of the little hibiscus here. And you can kind of see the root on it. That's a red hibiscus that I got from Todd. or He said it's red. I haven't seen it flower yet. I have blooms on the ones out by the greenhouse, and I'm looking forward to seeing them. These are some, I have some that are a little older than this that I took back in March. These were taken in April, and quite a few of them are still green, and some of them are starting to show some root, and it's just one of those things. This box here has been one that whenever 
The majority of them have been moved into other bins. I leave them in this one and keep moving them around. This is the ones that I did putting it with the perlite. This one and the one over here. And I've had problems with both of them. This one, I, whenever I first moved it outside, I wasn't feeling good the next day and had the lid on it. And I cooked some of them. And I don't like doing that, but shit happens. But these are all well rooted. And those are well enough rooted. The roots are, I can see them in the bottom below the perlite where they're growing into it. And if I don't get them adopted out this coming week, Wednesday or Thursday, I need to start repotting them in some uh, potting soil. This one over here, like I said, it's in the um, perlite also. And I don't know how, but I got a worm in it. And I haven't been able to locate him. He has disappeared on me. But he's eaten on some of the little plants and uh, just the leaves. So the stem ought to, they ought to come back out. But I can't find him in there. And it's really kind of pissed me off. But shit, like I say, shit happens. But anyway, let's walk to the greenhouse and... Whenever I talk about repotting them and putting them in, I've been using some of the old worm castings and compost. And after baking it in the oven, it became as hard as a brick bat. And I've been adding some soil moist in it. My ground coconut shell and peat moss. And perlite and I think it's working out really well these are the plants and these old pots are some that I reuse everything until it just falls apart I've had some limbs fall in here from the tree up above, but it's providing shade and helps keep the humidity up. I've had a infestation the other day of the giant grasshoppers, locusts, or whatever, and I've seen a worm or two on them. So, like I said, that was probably how the ones happened into the grow box was most likely an egg cluster or something that I just missed. I do try to check them real close, but sometimes I do miss them. And I love the way they bush out. The more you cut on them, the bushier they get. And I need to do some harvesting of some leaves. But all in all, I'm very pleased with my little Kratom jungle. Keeps an old man entertained. If it dries out enough and the rain holds off on me today, I'm going to try to hit it with a little more spray and grow. Some of them aren't as green as what I would like. But at the same time, the way they're running up, don't think they need a whole lot more fertilizer. I still got to do something with my poor jackfruits. They was all blowed over this morning. We had, like I said, a pretty, pretty good storm last night. This is where I took the hibiscus cuttings, and I'm really excited about the flower blooms on it. And the pink one that, the only pictures I got of it, I didn't realize it until after it quit flowering, was the uh, in a couple of the videos. It shows a shot of 
of the pretty pink on this one but I never did get a single picture of it other than in the videos but I've got some seed for it that I'm going to share with some friends I, don't know, I hadn't looked this morning to see if I have any ripe miracle berries or not there's quite a few green ones on it but I don't see any any ripe at this time I have to keep an eye on it real close because there's something around here, a mouse or a bird or something that likes them better than I do. Blessings all.